All right, so I've been nominated, or challenged, depending on who you ask, to do this hashtag message to feminist thing, which seems to be a single sentence, either in a tweet or a video, for feminists to uh, ponder. I'm not going to be able to fit it into a tweet. Um, I think everybody knows why, everybody that knows uh, how verbose I am, but I think I can do a video. First, I'd like to thank the Desert Fox and Mad Cat for challenging me to do this and then I will get on to the message to feminists. Now my message is a question, just a single simple question that I think any feminist who's promoting feminism to men's rights activists should be able to answer. And the question is, how do you reconcile feminism's dictionary definition with your promotion of a rape culture narrative that relies on statistics garnered from research, the methodology of which included denying that it's rape when a woman forces unwanted sex on a man? Now, I think that's a pretty simple question, and I think pretty much any feminist should be able to answer it. Um, at the end of this statement, however, I'm going to name five that I would particularly like to see answer it. But before I get onto that, I am supposed to nominate or challenge five other people to do this. So my list of nominees is Theron Meyer, Janet Bloomfield, Anna Cherry, Kraut and T, and Dean Esme. And on to the feminists that I would like to challenge to answer this. Now, granted, these are bigger names, and I am nobody, so they probably will not see this, hear of it, or see my tweets, but it wouldn't hurt to have some other people tweeting it at them. Uh, just the statement that they've been challenged to answer the question, nothing more. Just to stay outside of the feminist definition of harassment, don't tweet it over and over again. And uh, please do not argue with them. Just let them know that they've been challenged. My list is Mary P. Koss, the creator of that research, Gloria Steinem, who promoted it in Ms. Magazine, Amanda Marcotte, Rebecca Watson, and Lacey Green, because they are prominent feminist commentators who do promote the rape culture narrative. And then I would have challenged Jessica Valenti, but the coward has me blocked on Twitter, so I'm assuming that challenging her to answer that question would in and of itself be considered harassment. So I won't. I'll be interested to see if I get any answers from any other feminists, and I will especially be interested to see what the five people that I named have to say to feminists. So with that, thanks for watching, and I will try to do a little more frequent uploading of videos from here on out.